Almost every organization spend a lot of their resources in analyzing the cost incurred by them. In other words, they analyze the billing data to get insights about the cost and for reporting purpose and for making the future forecast. But how do you do it in GCP? Well, in GCP you can run BigQuery. BigQuery is a managed data warehousing solution that lets you run SQL queries on your data to get meaningful insights from it. It has a scalable distributed analysis system that returns the query results within seconds for terabytes of data and within minutes for petabytes of data. And as it is a managed service, you don't have to worry about your infrastructure. So let's head over to Cloud Console and see how you can analyze your billing data and all other type of data. So I'll just go to my Cloud Console and search for BigQuery. So this is my default project, which is I'm currently using. This is my query editor on the right side. So when you expand the project, it has a default external connection, right? So you can create your new data sets over here using these three dots. Click over here, create a data set. Okay. The project name is the default one. Let's give it a name. Test push one and the data location. You can select multiple locations for high availability or let's choose US East one. You can enable table expiration because this will create the temporary table that can be cleaned up after a certain number of days to save some cost. So let's just put number one and rest option. You can leave it default, create the data set. This is as simple as that. And when you click on the data set, it will show you the details. Now you can create a table inside this data set. Again, click on these three dots, hit create table. And the source, you can specify whether it should be an empty table. That means you will be entering your data manually or you have this data somewhere stored already like in Google Cloud Storage or some drive or big table or even AWS S3 or Azure Blob Storage. So let's select Google Cloud Storage. I have already uploaded a sample CSV file which uh, we can use in this demo. But again, you can export your billing data and use that I'll show you the other option as well. Uh, so please be with me till the end of the video. So I'll select the file from here. Click browse. This is my bucket and then this is my sample CSV file. I'll select this file and it auto redacted the file format as CSV. Now destination project is also the same project. This is my data set name in which I'm creating the table and you could also create a new data set if you want, but we have already created. Give this table a name. Let's call it sample data. And there are two options in table type native table or external table. So native table is table will be created in BigQuery itself. But when you choose this option external table, it will just create the metadata in BigQuery and the source table will be referred every time the data needs to be analyzed. Right. So this will also save some cost if the data is huge in the external table. So just external table option would be sufficient for you. Right. Then it can auto detect the schema as well. And if you click on advanced options, you see it auto populated the field delimiter as comma because we have uh, uploaded a CSV as the source data and header rows to skip. So we have one header inside that CSV with the name of the fields. So I'll just skip that row and that's it. And just hit create table. All right, so I'll just close this table has been created over here. Sample data. If you click on that, you will see it auto calculated the schema for you. Right. These were the fields inside that table with type spring integer integer and the rest of the default values. Then if you see the details, all the details that it has like number of rows and even the size of the table. Then if you click on preview, this is all the data that we have inside that table. Right. So it will just convert that data to show you the preview. 
and you can run queries on it. So you can just click over here. You can create the query in a new tab or you can split this tab as well. Let's use a new tab. All right. So if you do select star from, so this is the simple SQL query format. So the format of uh, accessing that data would be something like this. First is the project name. Then we have the data set name and then we have the table name, right? So it will be selecting this data from sample data table from project this data set this and the sample data. So let's because we only have 10 records in that. So let's just use the limit as five and run the query. Right, it will show you results over here. We have five results and the header row was excluded from the result. It also shows you different details as well, such that the JSON format of this table output, the execution details, how much time it consumed for the execution, how much read and write it did and everything. And the same way execution graph will also be shown over here. Now you can save this result as well in again a Google Drive, a local file, JSON, CSV and all other options we have or even a big query table. Right. So this again the results that we just got from here from running this query, this will be created in a temporary table. Right. This table will be deleted once we close it. So this is the result from the data that we have already in our cloud storage. But we can also query the public data sets that are publicly available. For example, let's close this okay, and close this as well. All right, I'll just expand this. So over here, you can search the public data. I'll provide you the link in the description from the Google Cloud Docs from where we can get the sample public data sets. So let's say we have a public data table called GSOD, if you search, okay, it will not show you any results because currently it will search in your project only. But you can click over here, broaden search in all projects, and the results will be shown to you because this particular table was part of a different public project, right? So this is the project name, BigQuery Public Data. This is the data set, and these are the table names. So let's select this table and then we can run query again like let's see in a new tab let's do a select star from this and put the limit as 10 and run the query okay it will show you all the results over here right and you can apply any condition as you want like the where clause order by group by everything would work just fine as in a sql query also you can join one or more tables from the public data set to get the results. So let's use this query. For example, it will get uh, these two fields from both the tables. So over here we are selecting these two fields from these two tables, GSOD 1929 and GSOD 1930 from the same data set. And we are joining based on this field and we are just limiting the records uh, by 10. If you run it, it will show you the results as intended. So again, this uh, data will be created as part of a temporary table inside BigQuery and it is referring the data from the external data sets that is publicly available, right? This data set over here. So yeah, this is really important to understand this uh, from the exam point of view as well as from learning the BigQuery perspective. You can also create a billing export which will send the data asynchronously to BigQuery and you can run analytics on that. So to do that, you go to billing export. Let's just leave this. All right. So it has different option like standard usage cost, detail usage cost, what type of uh, data set you want to generate. So this will be generated and updated daily with the cost details per SKU, right? And it will export the data. So once you enable it, I haven't enabled it now, but you can just do this edit settings and create the data set over here. Let's say test one, two, three, save it. And you create the same data set in BigQuery. 
So it will take some time and your data will be exported in real time from the billing to the BigQuery. Let's quickly have a look at the pricing for BigQuery. It comes with two main components. One is analysis pricing. Another one is storage pricing. So first one is cost that you incur when you run your SQL queries, your user defined functions so scripts and certain DML and DDL statements that scan your tables. And the storage pricing is the cost to store data that you load in BigQuery. And along with that, it has two different pricing models. One is on-demand pricing, another one is flat rate pricing. With the first one, you charge for the number of bytes processed by each query, right? All the reads that it gets from the query. And the first 1 TB query processed per month is free. So with the flat rate pricing, you buy the slots, which is the number of virtual CPUs that you would want to use to execute your queries and run analytics. You can use a 60 second slot, a monthly slot or an annual slot. And the prices will be different for each of these slots. So that is all about the pricing. All right, time for a quick knowledge check of what we have learned so far. As a billing admin of an organization, you need to generate certain analytics on billing data daily and monthly. Which two GCP services you will be using? You can create external tables in BigQuery which points to cloud storage bucket and run SQL queries on that. Is that statement true or false? What is the main advantage of using external tables in BigQuery? You can join multiple tables in BigQuery from a public data set. Is that statement true or false? What is the easiest way to find a table in all the data sets? And how to set up a billing export in GCP? These all tasks and these all questions we have just had a look in this particular video in past few minutes. So feel free to revisit if you are not confident about any of these answers. If you do know the answers of these questions, then let me know in the comment section below and share your feedback with us, with everyone. I hope you liked the video and enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It would make a huge difference for us. And I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.